I, I've been asked to do an update on the old Galaxy Cruise. Um, I've now owned this for a year and a half, and some of my bright ideas when I bought it, I soon discovered didn't work particularly well. So the first thing is the seat. I've added a little blow-up cushion from um, Decathlon because um, it just gives you that little bit of extra height but not too much height. Uh, what I've found is if you're too high it makes kayak unstable and I'm actually quite comfortable sitting there in this kayak um, at that position and I don't really need to be any higher. So the PFD um, don't go anywhere on water without some sort of life saving device. Regarding the seat, by far one of the most useful things is that pocket there on the back of the seat. Um, you can stash fly boxes, lure boxes, what else, whatever in it, and you don't have to reach around that much to get to it. So you just shove it in and then you can reach around hand in there. My box, I did a further modification to it. So before when I did the first video it had a flip over lid. What I did was I sealed that in, put a new top on it, sealed it in and it's plastic box. And I bought off eBay this. So this is completely waterproof and if you tip, tip the kayak over it will remain dry and also it floats Oops. Um, this hatch I use to put my mobile phone in in a air -tight, uh, watertight container now the fish finder I originally had it mounted on here but I found that got in the way there um, what I tend to do is when I go fishing I have a small bag full of bits and bobs and I'll have it between my legs you can see that on my other videos so I can transduce it through the scupper hole fed the cable up to here now to get the um, plug that plugs into the back of the fish finder through the hull, you have to drill a big hole. And part of the reason it took me so long to do that was I was scared about tight, um, cutting that big hole in there. But I went ahead and did it. I bought the rubber grommet from Halfords. And this is the same material as the kayak is made of. It's a sheet of plastic um, that came with the kayak to um, protect the hull. So I basically cut a circle out, cut a circle into that, and um, put the cable through it, and then fed all the surplus cable inside the hull and then bought, drilled the same size hole in the top of the uh, hatch ran the cable through that and did the same thing I plastic welded a cap over it so I've got a much smaller hole and I've stopped it with another grommet and silicon so the disadvantage of the fish finder being there for me is it's a long way away so it's a very very basic fish finder and I find once you've switched it on I just leave it on I very rarely play with it I'm only really looking at contours on the bottom depths of water 
If I had a really fancy fish finder, I would have a mount here so I could easily adjust it. But I found the problem with putting things in this front part of the kayak is they don't half get in the way, especially if you're fly fishing and um, uh, things get caught. You know, hooks will always find a bit of rope or something to get stuck around. So it can be a real pain when you're fly fishing because if you're out on a big piece of water, you can't exactly go to the front of the kayak and try and pull a fly out of, um, say, the hand pulley here. You just have to bust it off and retie. So the anchor trolley, that was a real work in progress. Um, so what I did in the end was I added these to it. Um, these are very heavy um, pieces of plastic from a zip tie which I cut down and screwed in. So when I'm using that I can just put that under there and it stops the rope riding up to here when you're using it. Um, in my original video I was talking about anchors and using anchors but today I've never used an anchor. I have used the Drogue which I made out of Saint's bag and that has worked an absolute treat. That's the best thing for slowing me down on a big piece of water. Um, there is a video on YouTube on my channel about fishing with it. So, oh I forgot to say the fish finders powered by one of these that I got from uh, somewhere like screw fix for 24 quid is really good um, I charge it up on a trickle charger and that will last pretty much all day um, this hatch still opens even with the fish finder on there and that's where I put the battery the so a job that I'm really pleased with is I added these PVC pipes in the scupper holes. The reason I did that was several really experienced kayak fishermen said to me um, trolleys that mount through scupper holes are really dangerous because um, there is a seal where the kayak is sealed together in the factory in those scupper holes and the trolley's legs that go through it can damage those seals and you end up with a leak. So what I did was I heated up the PVC pipe that didn't quite fit, it was just a little bit too fast for wide. I heated up the pipe and then when it was warm I pushed it through and that was enough to set it and hold it in place. So that has been a major success for me. Um, and, um, I bought these I bought these uh, from a kayak specialist. Um, they're elasticated leashes and I leash my rods on with those and maybe my fishing bag. A pulley rope which um, I attach on the front here so that when the boat's in the water I can tie it up or push it, you know, push a, a um, tent peg into the ground and then tie that to the tent peg so it won't flow away. So there it is, a year and a half of use. Uh, it's looking a bit scratched in places and a bit banged about in other places but it's working a treat still um, I've used it on big sheet of water Raven's Thorpe fly fishing I've used it on the canals I've been in some small rivers I haven't been to sea I'm not confident enough to go to sea anyway I hope that helps pass me some questions if you've uh, got any I'll
I'll help as much as I can. But for a budget entry level kayak for fishing, it works a treat. 